So what I've been trying to do yet is figure out how to get into level 30 Dark Zone. I've just tried two times solo. So what I would do is I'll flag and then I go to the rogue thing on the wall and then I click that and it gives me 60 seconds rogue. Then I disconnect my ethernet cable, but each time I do it that way, I spawn in a safe room. Now I don't know if someone's killing me or if my timer is running out before I get back on so that I'm not rogue yeah, and I spawn in a safe room. Me, me. So I want to, yeah, I want to kill you a couple of times or maybe I have yeah. to do it in invaded. No, you have to kill me. Go kill, go kill pussy. Is a one by one, no be on floor. Is Apparently you might actually need a friend to do this. So I'm gonna give myself a bit of a rogue timer. Oh my god, aimbot locking on to uh, the god. Is there one better one? Is there one better one? Right, let me let me do one more just in case. I'm gonna get one more kill on him. Um, then we're gonna disconnect. Okay, I'll do it now. So I'm just gonna go find a little place to hide. Um, then we're gonna disconnect the Ethernet cable. Hopefully no one actually comes to get us. I'm going to go in this little dark corner right here. Disconnect the ethernet cable. Okay, we should be booted off in about 10 to 15 seconds. Point of the fact of the matter is you need to be rogue before the server boots you offline because that's when your rogue timer gets preserved. Um, I've just tried a couple of times solo using the rogue terminal and it didn't work out. Here we go, I've been disconnected. So we reconnect the ethernet cable, press spacebar, or whatever it is, whatever platform you're on. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 shut up. So we are not going to edit this part out. I want you guys to see exactly how it's going to happen. Um, it's true, you may need a friend to do this. You may not course you can always go rogue and kill some people and have the server die out and then do it that way but I'm trying to make this a little bit more accessible so yeah even you even if you just ask a random or yo I'm just trying to try something out man can I just kill you three times in a row I need to log out rogue you know um, potentially you could do it that way <laughs> although probably just better off finding a friend I mean you guys should have at least someone on your friends list who will help you do this the idea is to farm anyway so um, yeah so in a moment here, I expect this to start loading, maybe in three seconds, two, one, yeah, maybe not. Should start in a second now. I am trying to just keep you guys busy and entertained while this timer is still on 0%. Like I said, I don't want to edit. There we go, finally loading. So yeah, I, I guess you do need a bit of a rogue timer for this to work. So we are going to find out. The moment of truth is about to reveal itself. So I was in an invaded dark zone. I have logged in rogue. So we are, see, that was an invaded dark zone. Now it is a normalized dark zone. We are in a level 30 bracket. And there are no level 3 landmarks. That is how you know when the invaded becomes normalized. And there are no level 3 landmarks because, well, it can't be invaded. There is no invaded before level 30. So I'm going to come off this rogue. You'll see. See, Dark Zone Invasion ending. And it's going to start transferring me when this timer runs out. Transferring in 15 seconds. But that's not a problem. You have all the time of the world to wait, flag up again, and boom. And just like that, you can keep farming a level 30 Dark Zone in peace. Now, of course, there are going to be players that are going to come in here at some point. But, I mean, who's going to be able to kill you when you're a level 40? Absolutely no one. Of course, you have to not die. Because if you die, you spawn in a checkpoint, it's going to transfer you. So, again, I've come off my road timer. You have to remember to flag up right away. It will be much easier if you were to get a manhunt. And then log off with a manhunt. That way you wouldn't have to worry about any timer. But it also means that if anyone shoots you, you will have to actually... Um, Engage with them. 
and asked them, yo, bro, I'm not here to kill you, you know, just, just farm with me. You might be able to get people to listen to you, but, you know, some people have VoIP turned off. And it's going to be difficult, but once you kill them a couple of times, and if you don't actually shoot them when you see them, they might get the message. So we're just going to pick this lock, get ourselves a little bit of a road timer, so we don't have to worry about that. There we go, 60 seconds before we, uh, I'm not even going to check that. Firefly coming my way. I have no idea if that's a player or not. Just running, uh, look at that, that's level 40 gear because you are level 40. So you can farm stuff at your level in peace. Ain't no one gonna bother you. Of course, don't die like I'm about to. <laughs> don't do this. Yeah, you can't die. Otherwise you have to restart all over again. But yeah, this is how you get into a level 30 dark zone. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Now I haven't tested all methods of doing this. Potentially you can do it from the normalized. But because I am more of a dark zone, you know, an occupied DZ player. Yeah. And I'm also rogue all the time. All the disconnects I've been getting. I've been getting into these servers fairly frequently. It's insane. Like... This should not be possible. Massive, please fix it. Patch it up right now. However, if you want to farm in peace, yeah, I'm, I'm totally for that. This is the PvE Dark Zone. Yes, it takes a bit of trickery, but it can be done. Oh, look at that. I got an exotic. What is it? A pesty? Look at that. You're after a pesty? This is how you get one. <laughs> Just like that. Um, you may encounter other players who know about this. I believe when I logged in the other day after disconnecting because my terrible internet or my internet issues at the moment, I ran into a guy who was doing this. Um, he was going around killing everyone. Potentially. Oh, it's going to transfer me. Don't transfer me. Did it? No, I'm not transferred yet. I did it in time. Right, so we're going to head over. Um, of course, it's going to be a bit of a thing. You have to remember to flag every 15 seconds. Which is why I do suggest you do it on a manhunt. That way you don't have to worry about that at all. However, it means that if anyone is in the server and they are trying to hunt you down, um, they're probably going to come after you. But like I said, you don't need to be a good player for this at all. You're going to be out, you know, you're going to outgear and outmatch everyone, out experience them as well, even if you're not a great player yourself. So we're just going to go over and extract. And no one's going to come and get me at all. Like. No one's got a chance. I could probably dance around these people, pop a make it in their face, and they still won't be able to kill me. So, guys. You know, don't use this. Don't abuse it to kill players. Don't be that guy, right? Only use it to farm. I do not support you if you use this to beat on, le on players who have just started playing the game. You're going to push them away. You don't want to push people away. I know I'm not exactly innocent of that because I essentially just beat on people on the end game but that's end game and that's not my fault that's their fault for not being good enough but yeah don't go around bullying players so let's check the map is there any activity no I mean maybe a lack of landmarks down here could be somebody farming but I mean it's under it's pre level 30 it's normalized dark zone end game like, there's hardly going to be anyone in the dark zone We go got some more NPCs, maybe get some more loot. Look at that, no one's come for me at all, probably because there's maybe only one other player in the server, if that at all. Here we go, we're transferring again in 15 seconds, no worries, just flag again, that goes away, you can't transfer while rogue. What a great game we're playing guys, what do you think? Is this a great game? Bug free <laughs> game? <laughs> no it's not, broken, broken as fuck, so broken. Unbelievably broken.
Off rogue. DZ transferring 15. No, we're not. Yeah, you guys get the memo. And how nice was it for the game to drop me a pisty during this tutorial video? That was great. It's like the Division Gods finally blessed me. I mean, I don't even need it at all. I mean, I've got so many pesties in the stash already, but... Yeah. Just going to wait for this to show that it's extracted and safely. Just to show you guys. Normalised, normalised, and normalised. Everything is normalised. There we go. Extraction completed. Pesty, now in my stash. Had to get a pesty. With no, no threat. So guys, that will be the end of the video. I'm just going to show you here how it happens when you are no longer rogue. It will transfer you back. I'm just going to make my way towards the checkpoint. Transferring in 3, 2, 1. There we go. I just got the stutter there. We are now in Invaded once again. And the DZ turrets that were there a minute ago will no longer be there. See? No turrets at all. None there, none there, and none up there. And you can see top left it says invaded, and right there it says... Actually, it's still showing up as uh, normalised. Interesting. But it is invaded. Let's go into here and then back out and see if that changes anything. Still showing up as normalised. Well, obviously that's just an, uh, a visual bug. Yeah, in a bit guys, that will finish. Minutes.